see what's going to come in this week's box. Ooh, we've got a delicious assortment of flowers this week in deep ruby reds, purples. We've got the Waratah and some absolutely beautiful after dark foliage. Let's have a closer look. We're going to start today with the beautiful, um, the, it's part of the tea tree family, but it's called After Dark. It's got fantastic black and dark um, elements to it, and it's going to add some really nice contrast to uh, this week's arrangement. So you want to grab your stems and give all of the stems a nice quick snip, just to freshen them up because they're going to go into water. Remove any of the foliage off the bottoms, as because that's going to go also into the water and can um, yeah just aid in the longevity of the flowers. This week's vase is a 20 centimetre vase with about a 10 centimetre uh, opening, which will support the flowers while you're arranging. You want the flowers or the foliage to give you a good stable base, and that will help by putting all the other varieties in and support them. Next, we're going to work with the stalks. The stalks have got a beautiful sort of, I don't know, sweet peppery smell to them in a great um, vi uh, vivacious colour. Again, give the ends a trim. Remove any of the lower leaves just with your hands by snipping it off. When you're inserting the stems, make sure that they're going in complementary to each other and not fighting each other in the vase. If you get a bit stuck, you can always do a bit of a twist to help them and encourage them to sit tall. This week's arrangement is going to be a more of a feature and it's going to be a front facing arrangement, meaning it would be uh, a really good position would be like against a wall on a sideboard in your house or office. The Waratahs are such an amazing flower. They're in season at the moment only for a really short time. So super, super um, lucky to have um, got these beautiful local uh, Waratahs. A good trick with the Waratahs is to give them, a, when you're cutting them, give them a trim, but also cut up the stems to open the surface um, area. Or you can, if you've got a hammer, just give the hammer a little bit of a, um, a, a hit on the stem. When you're working with bold flowers like the Waratah, you want to group them, one higher and one a little bit shorter. The last beautiful flower this week we're working with are the tulips. The tulips are um, still in season and they've got a great colour to them when they start to open and move around. The tulips will have a mind of their own over the week when you watch them grow. So giving the vase a daily um, little spin away from the light will help them stand really tall and look fantastic. And there you have it. That's this week's box.